como te tranza la panza Te voy a tirar el bombazo cuando éramos la mera toalla Mi cueso y los de Esteban a todas las pipo la calambraban Y con los gargolas del barril te rebanaba la cuajada Armando el despelote nos agarró la jurásica Never done nothing in my life uh, Besides gardening at home, which is really nothing Gracias De nada Wow. This was pretty intense. I always surprise myself in what I can physically do when I'm on a free the children trip. Ooh, look at that. I found my brand new pet. His name is, of course, Giuseppe, and I love him. I've never felt love like this before, but now I know it. I know what those people are talking about. We actually made and mixed cement by ourselves, and that itself was really, um, it was really educational because I didn't actually know you could make cement like that, so it was kind of cool. That was perfect. Just make sure you don't. Yeah. We were like, we're doing hard work, but it's like calming compared to like the digging. And everyone was like sweaty and like dirty, and we were like. We've definitely been doing as much work as you have, like, but just a different kind of work. So you get a cover from the dirt on either side? In one day, we dug out the entire uh, trench. I feel like because we have a smaller group, we know that there's no luxury of Oh, I can take a break because there's five other people that can do something. We're all working together as a team to do that. Just level this out between the stereo here, and then you guys are good. I'm working on Sure. Yeah. Wow. No, because they can work. I'm working on Sure. Let me help. I can't feel my back. Uh, I can't feel my arms. Mm. You know, you can feel, though. Your face. <laughs> That's a wrap. Guys, we're wrapped. <laughs> we got a lot of work done, and we're really proud of ourselves as well, too. Everyone was saying that that kind of work they thought was going to take two days at least, and we finished it on the first. So that felt really great. And that's sort of what makes it worth it, um, working hard and pushing past that point that you think you can't. We got again tomorrow morning. I was actually in the room getting ready for breakfast. And then all of a sudden, I hear all this drumming. I was like, that noise. And it went from us being so annoyed to us eventually brushing our teeth, jamming out. We're like, <laughs> down the street, and there was all these like kids with drums and all these kids dancing and in lines. And I was like, what is happening? It was an Independence Day practice for the Independence Day on September. I thought that was really cool, you know, that because you never see kids like us getting up that early to practice a marching band. That was a nice way to wake up and like be immersed in the community like first thing in the morning. Let's go to the build site, guys, and we'll find out what work needs to be done today. <laughs> We had to really step up our game, but everyone just worked their butt off. The painting was incredibly done. There was a huge amount of progress when we arrived. I was also still a little nervous because I felt like we had a lot of painting to do, but it went by really, really fast. We started painting uh, the blue section. We were like, wow, it's starting to look like a school. It looks like we've finally done some work. In our demonstration, we got paint blue here and hand cut off. That was the demonstration. So we were all we were all set. We were aware of what the consequences would be. Even despite the language barrier, we bonded through the universal language of music. I love the Nicaraguan people. They're just so friendly and just so hospitable, and they just they just want to talk to you in any way that they possibly can. Richard, what do you mean? Richard. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy thinks me. <laughs> you just told him your name. We met one of the painters, uh, Richard, and I think his way was ta ta talking to me, at least, was just uh, to pick on me. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> 
When we arrived, it had been so barren, and there had been really nothing in those fields. And then to see trees being planted really just livened it up. And she's made impact. Twenty. That pretty little flower shut up. And then you bury her in the dirt. That is your love. I've never planted before, but I think I found a new love. Move over one more. I, move over one more? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta wait for this one. Oh, I wanna Look watch this. That. I wanna watch this. So from there, you start to take off the coverings. And then she's comfortable on the ground. I really enjoy planting. I, I don't like gardening at home, but for some reason, planting like so ruggedly out there was a lot of fun. I love you, Canada. <laughs> I'm able to see the finished product and give that to the community. I've never had that done before. I've always been trying to work towards it. I've never actually been there for that inauguration, which we're going to get on this trip. So for me, it's something really special, and it's kind of a nice finale to my Degrassi Feed the Children experience. Just something that a week ago, there, there was no flowers, no pain, no nothing. The finished product was amazing. Today at the inauguration, when I was like, so we're not going to be building anymore. All right, so I want to, it was like, I, I didn't want to be finished. I wanted to, to keep helping them there. The inauguration ceremony was really, really beautiful. I have seen a few, but this one was really touching. Now, a few words uh, by Camilo Power. Buenos días a todos y todas. Eh, quiero agradecerle. Yo estoy en, en nombre de Free the Children. Yo digo que la, de la comunidad de Free the Children, nosotros trabajamos en Nicaragua eh, en apoyar a la educación de los niños. Una de las cosas que es muy importante es trabajar de mano a mano con la comunidad. Y número uno, le quiero agradecer mucho a la comunidad del Trapiche, porque sí han trabajado juntos con nuestros jóvenes, han estado organizados y, y nos han cuidado a los jóvenes que vienen como sus propios hijos. Yo me acuerdo cuando vine hace como 18 meses, cuando vine vi a Flor dando clase en, en una casa y vimos el potencial de poder ayudar en esta comunidad. Empezamos con un aula y ahora tenemos este sueño. Everybody in the community thought he was the biggest hero and he does so much work and I really respect him. I felt that before. I, I've been there, and I know exactly how she feels, even from the other side. She dedicated her life and worked so hard for education and the well-being of people that aren't even related to her, and I think that's just so, so inspiring. So now we'll hear words of thank you from one of our students, Edward. It reminded me of some of my, one of my friends from back home. Got up and like just made like like the nicest speech, and you can tell it really was from his heart, and that really moved me. My name is Edward Guzmán, Puerto Santo. Thanks to the organization of the children who has licensed Camilo. If he wasn't going to school and given the opportunity to learn how to speak eloquently and write it down on his page that life would be so different and we'd be losing that amazing spark of a kid. To see the water actually come on and, and to know what the kids are going to 
benefit from just something so simple as a tap and some pipes. They have a place to have fresh drinking water and wash their hands. To see it completely finished was an amazing sight to see. To watch Edward turn the tap and see the water flow down and be so clear and clean and know that it was safe, such a great feeling. And for it to be the last thing we did before we sort of said goodbye was, was so lovely. I'm taking away so many things from this experience. The fact that I shouldn't take what we have in Canada for granted, running water, electricity, basic, basic needs that we overlook. Cherish what I do have and cherish even the little things that so much work was put into. Um, it's definitely what I'm gonna be taking away from this trip. No matter like how dark the world is or how bad it seems, there are people who are dedicating their lives to this kind of stuff, like Joe, Camilo, everyone who works for Free the Children, everyone who works for Me to Weed. It just, it's like a warm tingle in your heart. Seeing the two schools done, the water filtration system, and you know, having the toilets that they built there as well, the trees and all the different fruits and vegetables that they planted, I felt like we had fulfilled what we were supposed to do on this trip. I think that going on a Miwi trip is just the greatest thing that's ever happened. If you have the time and you have the money, you should just do it because there's so little else out there like it. It's like therapy for yourself. You get to really know yourself and tap into yourself and see who you are. I 100% recommend it, and I think that if you have an itch, like a tiny itch to do it, do it, because you won't regret it. I know I haven't.